Hey everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and welcome to an indie game called The Aftermath. So this game was actually made for an indie jam, I believe, an indie game jam. Uh, didn't, I think it was like, they had a week. I don't quote this on, at all from me, because I don't really remember too much of uh, the baseline of this game. But I do know that this game is, takes, or this game takes a lot of heavy inspiration from Papers, Please. The guy was very heavily inspired by Papers, Please, and he decided to make a game for it for, on, um, and called The Aftermath. Basically, you're an intern, and you are judging people whether they should go to heaven or hell. And if it's anything like what I've heard from Papers, Please, then this game is going to make me judge my will to live. So shall we, con shall we get this game started? A cataclysmic event has caused the death of every living being on Earth. Judgment Day has come with its load of paperwork. People must go to heaven, or hell. You are the judge. Right click to drag, left click to zoom in and out. So, uh, okay, that's how you do it. Daniel Berner from New Zealand, male, 277 years old, passion, Satanism. Life info, he hugely, he was hugely talkative, he was anti-heterosexual, has been single for their whole life, helped 80 prisoners escape from jail. Now, Satanism isn't as bad as you think. Like, I know, right? Oh, he's a worshipper of Satan, but Satanism, I think, if I remember right, was termed in all, a terminology for something completely different from Satan worshippers. Uh, talk to V. I think that's that is a spelling error if I ever seen one. Now, was he a releasing prisoners for the good of mankind? Or the bad of mankind. You know what? It was he has been single his whole life. He was anti-heterosexual, and you know what? Okay, I think he should. Hmm. This is already tough, and I've already made. I haven't even made the first choice. Is this a thing? Apparently not. Okay, uh, sheet's done. None so far, because I cannot decide whether he is good or bad. Uh... Is anti-heterosexual. So I, uh, I hope that it's hell that uh, he belongs in. I hope so, because I, uh, age 92, shit, damn, this guy lived a full life before the, uh, end of the world. Passions, hard rock, and archery. Uh, life info, use the no filter hashtag, although filters are used. Never list the toilet seat. Murdered his wife who was suspected of abusing their child. Tried to shoot the leader of their country. In Mexico. Hmm. He did a lot of bad stuff, but then again... Ooh, um, uh, already I'm feeling... It's just tried to shoot the leader of their country. Now, was the leader a bad person or a good person? We don't know. I can't help but not. I don't know. I guess hell, I guess. A uh, female from New Zealand, Julia Peters, Cl passions were climbing and cooking, struggled all their life to maintain the life of their trismatic child. A dozen failed suicide attempts. Heaven. You go to heaven. You deserve a rest. Passions. Basketball. Collecting stamps. Ate a bird alive once. Well, okay. You. I, there seems to be nothing special about you, so you get to go to heaven. Okay. Uh, tennis, basketball, uh, let's see, age 83, they were pretty old. Grace von Vacht, from Kazakhstan, Grace von Vacht. Raise, life info, raise the family of platypuses and always takes the last pizza slice without asking. That's not, that's not hell worthy though. That's not hell worthy, she gets to go to heaven. Okay, Linus Dabino, age 76. Passions, gymnastic, puzzle solving. Life info, has been single their whole life, was involved with the Mafia, tried to shoot the leader of their country. 
Now this person does not sound friendly. This person fucking tried to not only kill their the leader of their country, they were a part of the mafia. Makoto Griffin from Thailand. Male and a he was aged of 20 when he died. Rope skipping was his passion and also baseball. Never gave their bus seat to the elderly. Is overly respectful of the em environment. Over pronounces foreign words. Does that like, get, make you belong in hell? No, that gets you in heaven because you weren't a bad person. At least you didn't try to shoot the leader of your country. Maldives, Maldives, I've never heard that country before. I guess I'm a stupid American. Amber Hansman, who was a female and age 47. Se seven, seven. Loved camping and drawing. Took drugs, failed saving a child before a truck. Always took the last pl slice of pizza without asking. I'm starting to see some patterns here. Um, saving a child before a truck hit them, I'm guessing. At least they tried. That gets you in heaven, I believe, right? At least you tried to save somebody's life. Uh, learning languages, rope skipping, Manuel, Manuel Goroth from Cyprus, age 20, 49, male. Took drugs, never says thank you, has inherited mental disorders from their parents. Ooh. Uh, nothing really bad to, on the list there, other than they kinda had some problems. Loves chess. Javier Peters, age 18, from Pakistan, he was male. Adds Reno Jackson to all their Hearthstone decks. I never played Hearthstone, so I have no idea if that is good or bad. Helped 80 prisoners escape from jail. Always kills bugs. Placed second in a rail eye championship. You know what? This guy doesn't... Hmm. Never helped 80 prisoners. You know... You tried to help... I don't know if you these were bad prisoners or what, but... Oh, apparently I can quit now, but, um, what, what happens if I, just one last sheet. Okay, I can do one last sheet. Uh, life info, oh, oh, me? What? Intern 38556, unknown country, and gender male, age 17, that's not me. Passions Games, sent four people to hell, six people to heaven. Uh, I wonder. There we go. Oh, okay. The game just quit out on me. So that was that was it. The aftermath. I just sent myself to heaven. Wee. But I'm not 27. I'm not 17. No, hell no. I don't know how where they got that number from. Anyways. Oh, that was surprisingly short, so I hope you guys enjoyed that game. That was interesting, but it could have been a lot better. I, it was just made for a game jam. It was interesting, though, to play, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-